got this! Game of Braves. What's up everyone? This is Juan Emil from Game Braves. Now, we spent a lot of time talking about what Tekken 8 is. So now, let's take a step back and talk a bit about what we want Tekken 8 to be. Specifically, with the guest characters. Gun wins. Tekken 7 had some of the best guest characters ever, including characters like Negan, Noctis, Akuma, and Geese. Freaking Geese Howard showed up. He fell off the tower and ended up in Tekken. It's great. So naturally, as is always the case with fighting games that have guest characters, that means the next installment is only good if we can figure out what the guest characters are going to be. In no particular order, here's my list of guest characters I want to see in Tekken 8. And I should point out before we get into this list, it's not going to be any Kratos, it's not going to be any Scorpion, it's not going to be any Ryu. We're throwing out all that basic garbage. We are only going for actual meaningful characters that could be added to Tekken 8 who just so happen to not be in the universe. So character number one, Melania, Blade of Mikala. When I saw the heat system in Tekken 8, my first thought was, oh my god, this is Bloodborne as heck. I would love for Lady Maria to be added as a guest character, especially since, you know, weapons are cool now. From your wild curiosity. However, then I remembered that we are not allowed to talk about Bloodborne. Into the vault it goes. You know what we can talk about though? Elden Ring and all the money it made. And that's why Melania should totally be in the game. Also, plus, her great rune pretty much turns the game into Bloodborne, so she does kind of fit the heat system really, really well. Plus, she's tall. And her face is covered, which means that we won't have to settle another round of long comments of people debating whether the faces in Tekken 8 look bad or good. Number two. Before I tell you who number two on this list is, I want to give the reasoning first. Because I think once I give you the reasoning, this character will make sense. This is one of those characters that admittedly people do ask for. Tekken is an international game and its characters represent all walks of life. That being said, there isn't all that much in the way of Italian rap. I mean, we got Marissa in Street Fighter 6. She's about as cool as an Italian rap is gonna get because she's a big, muscly lady. Just like how Lydia in Tekken 7 is the Prime Minister of Poland, we need someone with a political background to be the Italian rep for Tekken 8. And that's why Tifa should be the guest character for Tekken 8. This is such a good pick that I'm not even gonna explain to you why Tifa is the Italian pick. But being the only character from Final Fantasy 7 that does punches and kicks means that, you know, she'll fit in well to the game. I mean, heck, there's been mods for her before. The fact that Tifa even has the same red gloves Jin does, like, girl's secretly a Kazama. She's got the immortal face of Jun, and she's got the red punch gloves of Jin. All she needs is a questionable record on war crimes, and she's practically part of it. Actually, wait, hold on. She was part of the plane collapse. That does... You know what? She might actually be a Kazama. Yeah, make her the Akuma of this game, where she's not only in the game as a guest character, but she's also in the story. Yeah, she's totally a Kazama. You, you can't fool me. You can't fool me. Number three, Kenshiro. Who? Haha, -ha, I did put in an anime pick, but it wasn't the one you thought it was gonna be. Look, Kenshiro is one of the most iconic anime characters of all time. The only problem is, no one knows that. Fist of the North Star inspired a lot of popular anime, including Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, which then went on to inspire even more anime. <laughs> and I think it's only fit we give our king his crown by putting him in Tekken. Just like Tifa, he fights with hand-to-hand -hand combat, so I think he's a really, really good match. Plus, I really, really would love it if they actually added mechanics from the Fist of the North Star fighting game the same way they did with Geese and Akuma. Like, you thought Akuma having fireballs was bad? Wait till you see Kenshiro give you 10 seconds to win the round. Plus, you know, Kenshiro would be a real crowd pleaser at tournaments because you can bet your butt that at tournaments, people are gonna be... <laughs> So finally, we had a lot of fun with the other guest characters I've suggested so far. You know, Melania is she's a fancy character. Tifa is 
a fancy character in more ways than one. Kenshiro is fancy character, but that's not Tekken! You know, like, if we have all that plus CEOs turning into devil men and their sons turning into also devil men, like, where's the martial arts in Tekken? In fact, we need a character to represent a martial art that hasn't been represented yet. And that is why my final candidate for the guest characters list in Tekken 8, Shaquille O'Neal. You may be thinking, what kind of martial art does Shaq know? Well, the correct answer is basketball, also known as Shaq Fu, based on his popular video game of the same name. It wasn't my suggestion to put Shaq on this list, but I went and watched Shaq Fu footage. You don't tell me that's not a Tekken character. Shaq is out here doing punches into leg sweeps like he's Kazuya Mishima. And the fact that that game gives him elemental powers only makes it better. You thought the electric wind god fist was bad, wait till you see the electric wind god dunk. Plus Shaq's huge! Can you imagine how annoying it'll be to fight Shaq in Tekken? The best part is, once you get Shaq in Tekken, we can then pressure the real Shaq to play Tekken. And the worst part is, once he plays Tekken, he's gonna play Kunimitsu! He's not even the first basketballer to be in a crossover fighting game. We had LeBron in multiverses. This is perfect. All we need to do is just go like, well, I mean LeBron, you know. LeBron said yes to a fighting game. Shaq himself is so popular that we might even get a few NBA boys to start playing Tekken. And once everyone starts playing the same fighting game, we've achieved world peace. And that is why we need to add Shaq for world peace. Anyways, this has been my list of guest characters that I really want for Tekken 8. I want to hear what yours are. Remember, it's minus 5 points for every Ryu, minus 5 points for every Scorpion, minus 5 points for Master Chief and Kratos. They're minus 10 points for no originality. Kratos was already in Mortal Kombat, and that was when he was cool, angry man Kratos. Now what's Kratos gonna do in Tekken? Is he gonna console me about my anger? That's not why I play Tekken, man! This is Muar from Game Braves. Take care, guys. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Don't forget to give us a subscribe if you'd like to see more and like so we know what kind of content you want to see. Got suggestions for new content? Let us know in the comments below too. Thank you so much again for watching. Take care dudes.